I've never seen it. No, it's just like because of my weird angle, my weird writing angle. I like the fine point. I do too. I Are you a like lefty? It. No, that's. I guess I didn't know that was a lefty because it's you know because thing. Most right. I'm not trying to generalize, but most right-handed people they all write the same. Yeah. Like with the same well, style. Like some lefties yeah. are like this. They do the whole uh, like. Oh, you mean like physically the hand is in a different spot? Yes. I can yeah. see what you're saying. Um, well, you have to like adapt. You know what I mean? Like everyone has their own mm-hmm. evolution of adaptation, figuring out how to go over the yeah, writing or around the writing. Know, or Because yeah. this is like the pad of your hand right here is just basically an eraser. Just a meat smudge. Just just yeah. a, <laughs> a, a, a little. Meat smudge. That should be a two a sentence. I'm watching uh, uh, The Sopranos right now. How, do you ever read these two sentence horrors? I've seen them. We'll yes. talk about this in yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I don't, um, I'm not super familiar, but I have seen them. I love them so much. They are maybe my favorite thing online. It is. There's something very, very vulnerable about someone earnestly putting drama out in the world. It's like a yeah. someone sending you a song they wrote. Well, it, it's like you know how comedy has open mics, and right. then what is there for drama or horror or whatever? That'll be like, so. I mean, poetry open mics, but yeah, not two that. sentence horror. Two sentence horror open mic. Horror open mic is like a fun idea. Actually. That is a really fun <laughs> idea, um, and you should write that down. <laughs> I steal it now. And date it. <laughs> you should um, timestamp this yeah. idea somehow. <laughs> well, we're in here. We're going. Uh, this has never seen it. I'm your host, Kyle Ayers. This is the podcast where comedians rewrite famous movies they've never seen before, and we read those scripts. But we're going to start today off by playing one of our fun games here. This is called Guess What Movie Kyle's Dad is Describing, having only watched the trailer and never having heard of the movie, okay. The Game. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay. How this game works is my dad watches a movie trailer. He describes what's happening in that movie trailer. You have to tell me what movie it's a trailer for. can be any movie ever. We both played this game before. You're both familiar. Oh, I guess yeah. I should say who's here. I'm here with Joe McAdam and Ryan Singer. Hey, Thank I'm you Joe. Both. Hey, Joe. Thanks for hey, having me. And I'm Ryan. Thanks. It's a pleasure to be here. And we're going to get to Ryan's script here shortly. I'm trying to hit the ground running with some format. <laughs> That's You're my doing, impression of Ben Gibbard. Um, <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> uh, so we're going to play this game. Once again, my dad describes a movie trailer. You have to guess what movie trailer he's describing. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. Okay. So there's a guy who hires the girl to help him be a security officer for secrets. <laughs> It's illegal, and it's mostly shots of his face really close. The infrastructure is crumbling and really bizarre. The world bends over, and no one seems very concerned. Oh wait, okay. And then you got to guess. Yeah, is, is it Inception? In- it is Inception. Wow. Wow. Congratulations! The world Joe. is bending over. <laughs> the world is bending wait, over. That was what, the what key moment it? of the trailer. The world bends over. He uh, was absolutely right. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. That, uh, was, that might be the quickest I've ever. I've I, I'm I've stunned myself. I uh, I was gonna say yeah, something. Yeah. The, the, out of the gate, I was like, oh, there's a secret. <laughs> It's got to be a garden. Got to be a garden if there's a secret. Is it perhaps a window or a garden or <laughs> the two things there could be secrets of. I uh, um, I have this soundboard. This used to hook into my Xbox. I would run my Xbox. So because during COVID, I had this. So I'd use the same microphone for podcasts as my. Just so I didn't have to have a bunch of mics and headphones around. Yeah. And I could play the soundboard, and the kids on the Xbox could hear it. And I was playing Call of Duty, and I played the Thwomp from Inception, and no one knew what it was. Oh wow! Yeah, and I was like, like, I was like, it's the Thwomp from Inception, and they're like, that old movie? We got an old guy in here, and then they all started making fun of me for being old. <laughs> I was gonna suggest hooking it up to an Arnold Schwarzenegger soundboard, and that's like, I know, extremely that's old so. Guy. Yeah. Got, guys, guys, don't start the game. E bombs world is loading. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so they would always make fun of me. I also have like uh, uh, a few other sound effects. I have like we talking about practice. For that, yeah. I have, you know what I mean, like all that sort of stuff in there. Classics. Um, just the heavy the, hitters. The big five. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> that's my ripoff of the big three basketball league. <laughs> the big five sound effects. Kids oh would always, God. kids would always, always, <laughs> always just, make fun of me. I would have, like, I was a, fr- I, I was a, fr- okay, I played the game in the worst way, Call of Duty. I'd play with my brother, and he's, you know, the age of people who played. He's in his, like, early 20s. Mm-hmm. And I would just hide in the corner with a shotgun, like, behind a door. 
and then someone would walk in, I'd shoot them in the back with a shotgun. Pervert and then, mode, yeah. Yeah, they hate you. They hate you. <laughs> pervert, pervert mode. mode. I, would, <laughs> I, I prefer to think of it as the end of uh, Blair Witch Project mode. Yeah, yeah. Which is also a reference that at least doesn't date me. <laughs> um, boy, did they hate me in the game. And then I would talk, and then they'd be like, why do you sound so old? <laughs> what do they sound like? Yeah. You know, they're like, oh, my God, look at them. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Also, they all sounded quite young. They're all, I mean, it's like. 14 to 25 year olds or they, they wouldn't even make fun of me for being old they'd be like where's your family <laughs> don't you have a, a daughter you should be taking care of right now <laughs> they would like kill me and be like feed your kids <laughs> god when I was a kid we used to call that oh like oh before oh, it's such a weird phrase but it was like oh before your balls drop yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Still, I, I mean I think no they still probably say that still say that I, mm-hmm. I live near a uh, grade school and I can tell you kids at least they're I know they're still saying uh, they're calling each other virgin that's still happening oh, and wow. that's that's still fun yeah I hear a lot that's of kids still fun the kids that's yelling, still as good as it you, gets you virgin at each other <laughs> <laughs> I still hear that one um, but yeah <laughs> that's really fun um all right well let's let's do this here uh, this is a new I have a new uh hope with the with never seen is I'm trying to do the scripts earlier and have more structure to the podcast because we talked about uh, uh, Disney World for 40 minutes last time. It's a good topic, though. It is a great topic, and I had a really fun time. I was just like, I've never been to Disney World. And then, like, Brandon Collins and Danny Jaws were like, are you fucking kidding me? You're too old. Uh, no, they- <laughs> <laughs> How old No, are but you? I really do want uh, to I, – I think that it, it, it serves best when I keep sort of things going. And also, I'm tired of writing games that I don't use. Yeah, I get mm. it, and I'm, I, I like I want to get into the scripts. People are here for the scripts, but and then we see. I'm like out. that with candles. <laughs> I buy so many candles, and I'm like, I can't burn these. And then there you well, go. I'm going to be out of candles. Then you, I always <laughs> when I have what? a candle, I actually I'm have ruined. to give a friend of mine got me a Kansas City scented candle. I need to know. what He that just gave it to like. me. I know it. Uh, I don't know what it smells like, but it does smell like. Can- to me, Kansas City smells like two things, barbecue or that waste processing plant on the way into the city from the airport. There's that. <laughs> I, so this like is, by Worlds of Fun? I, I went to a, a diner the other day, and they had a Kansas City omelet. Now, I'm from Kansas City. I've You're, never heard that in my life. You've never heard that no, ever? No. I've so, heard Denver. Denver horrible. is the famous omelet, and that I don't know the difference. But I think the, the Kansas City omelet's the same omelet, but it has to drive the worst 10-hour drive <laughs> possible before you can eat yeah, it. Yeah, it, it has to go I-70. <laughs> Has to drive I seventy for eight <laughs> Past hours. Past Bob Dole's childhood home to go eat it. Kansas City omelet, sausage, onion, pepper, mushroom. No, that's an omelet. That's just an omelet. That's a regular old fucking omelet. <laughs> All right. I I always uh uh, not everything needs to be be a regional style. St. Louis is very guilty of trying to have a regional style. Like yeah, we make ribs and pizza and, and bread. And bread. Like not and no ravioli. You don't. And ravioli. We invent. Maybe it did, but they invented slicing bagels wrong. They did all that stuff. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have you seen that? No. They slice bagels. Wait. You know how you slice a bagel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the middle, like it's yeah, a, yeah, like a hamburger bun. They do it so you put it like sliced over the top, like you would slice a loaf of bread, but across the top of a bagel. Wait, but then how do you put like stuff slivers? on it? Yeah, like slivers of bagel. Wait, like to I'm make not, ba- like bagel chips, bullshit. but you like dip them? <laughs> yeah, you make like not dried soft bagel chips look we get it you lost your football team it's, <laughs> yeah, this it's is a okay. real depression move to <laughs> slice a bagel weird um but they st louis is very like identity driven kansas city is identity driven in the fact that everyone from there dresses like they're visiting yeah all the time yeah. where they're like look at my kc shirt like you yeah, live you're here. at there. <laughs> you can just yeah, look you, around. You are at there. You are at it. Yeah. I like. I bet the. New, can you imagine how many heart shaped KC shirts they sell at that new airport? I got one. I got one. Did you go to the new airport? Uh, no, I've, I oh. go uh, in a couple months. I haven't been there yet. Oh, I but got. This, I got a KC heart shirt and hat, but my head's too big for it. Yeah. But that reminds me of like when you're watching like a network and they're advertising their network. It's like, I'm already yeah, here. I'm already here. T- T- TNT and TBS are so guilty of that. You watch, like, the NBA on TNT, and they're like, if you love this, you're going to love the NBA on TNT. And you're like, I fucking, I do. I know. <laughs> I'm yeah. at it. I'm, I'm watching. At, I'm at there. I'm actually on skystream.net slash NBA underscore one dot HTML. But yeah. I do love it. <laughs> I'm getting pop-up ads that say, you can take her underpants off in the game. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that is, oh, this is how I would say the division between, um, um, I would think I think generations should be divided. Maybe not like like uh, Gen X to Millennial 
to Gen Z or whatever. I think generations should be divided by how good can you navigate janky pop-up ad websites? Yeah. What do you know that's, how do you know what's real and what's not when you're trying to stream the new Mission Impossible movie on your computer? Yeah, it's, um, I'm trying to think of like all the ones that that pop up, but it's mostly about pornographic video games. Pornographic video games Mm -hmm. and like betting, like sports betting. Yeah. And uh, you have a a virus on your McAfee. Get to the (laughs) having of it for click. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people are like, shit, why else would it say that if I don't? I got to tell you, I don't have any idea what you guys are talking about because I would never stream anything (laughs) illegally. Come get me. (laughs) Police, come come and get come me. Come for me, NFL. <laughs> by, you know, I don't even want to say the actual one that I use. NFL season's coming up, and they might yeah. come for me, Disney. Oh, that sounded bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's my impression of Walt's wife. Yeah. Come get um, me, Disney. <laughs> come for me, Disney. Uh, Especially because okay. they have all those creepy Disney cops driving around Burbank or Glendale. Well, they will like, get you. They will. What do you get mean, you? Disney cops? There's Disney cops driving around over off Flower Street. Where all the Disney offices and stuff are, too, over in Glendale. Oh, They oh. just have, like, Disney constant mm-hmm. patrols, and it's like, if you're even driving through there, they're trying to, like, they just start tailing you. Yeah. You know they, okay, so I was doing picketing. Sorry, we're so off. I, I know okay. we, we wanted to, like, get No, no, get no, to we'll the, get into this it. This is, like, Disney part two. Yeah, yeah, we're so, barely in double digits. <laughs> I was I was picketing over at the Disney lot for the the WGA strike mm-hmm. and the all of the houses. What side? I was on Disney's side. I was. Okay. Walt, <laughs> I'm, I'm off for Walt. I was, I was like, actually there. Getting, I was getting hired to write the signs for the executives. Yeah. <laughs> I had a Billy Club. We were just hanging out. <laughs> and, swinging a Billy Club. <laughs> I'm in the Pinkertons, you guys. Uh, I know. So all the houses near the Disney uh, studios, they all are owned by Disney, and they're empty. They're just empty homes, and they. Park like can like like a. Uh, do you think they're to move all? Do you, I was gonna say, do you think they're to move all their employees back from Florida? I, I mean, like I think that's what they might. I mean, I think they use them for like filming, and then yeah. sometimes for like putting people up. Maybe I don't mm-hmm. know, but it's a like a whole huge block of just empty. Homes. I had no idea. That's like it's Ryan's creepy. ultimate goal in Ohio. It's really creepy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I want to have my own Disney block in Dayton. <laughs> Dayton this Disney. is Dayton Disney. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dayton Disney. We took all the woke crap out. Yeah. <laughs> Everything's in primer. <laughs> um, okay. So we're getting in. Uh, Ryan, you've never seen. I've never the seen. The Power that. of the Dog. Is it Power of the Dog or The Power of the Dog? I'm not sure. Ch- I think it's Power of the Dog. I'm pretty sure. I only have yeah, two I computers so. in front of me. So I, I can't I, figure out any I don't even remember. I know it's Benedict Cumberbatch and... Kristen Bell or Kristen Stewart or so Crispin Glover. It's Chris, uh, yeah. It it's is the power of the dog. Interesting. The power of the dog. Okay. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch, Jesse Plemons, Kirsten Dunst. Oh, Kirsten Dunst. The, those go. two are in so many movies together. They are married. Yes. Jesse Plemons and Kirsten Dunst, mm-hmm. and they just loved. I love it. I, I don't know if they're in so many, but they're in this and Fargo together. Yeah. Um. And incredible in Fargo together. They're great. Uh, just, I just so I watched this before I watched this uh uh interview with the two of them probably for this movie because it's pretty recent and this was what two years ago year and a half ago, and they're asking what is your favorite of their work, and she's like I really like like this and she's like I think he's very underrated in Game Night, and then he's like gushing about her. He's like she's she was better at acting when she was four than I am now, and he's like the only good like he's like I love working with her in Fargo made me cry every day. I was so excited to go to set and work. He's like he's so in love with her yeah. that she was embarrassed almost in the interview because not I don't think she actually was, but she's uh, being, being a little, little bashful. Like but she's little, like stop, you know, stop, ah. stop, and he's like oh my god, and the way she prepares by doing this and this and that, and he's like and she is Mary Jane, and like goes in this like. Spouts off stuff you've never heard of. Yeah, and he's like, and I'd seen all that stuff even before we started hanging out, and I had to really like reel it in when we hung out. <laughs> yeah, he was like, like a, a super a, fan, right, a very, yeah. very like adorable husband. It was so nice. He's he's hope for every like regular looking kind of. He's guy. looking he's looking good now. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's back to Todd weight. Oh yeah, back in the day, the um, Friday Night Lights, Todd. Yeah. Uh, oh, was he and in Breaking Friday Bad? And uh, um, the movie oh, no, he or the was, show? Yeah, he was Todd in Breaking Bad. Landry and Breaking. He's Cumber so and, scary yeah. in Breaking Bad. <laughs> in Breaking Bad, that's the first time I remember seeing him. He was terrifying. I always thought yeah. in Breaking Bad he was almost the Joker. He kind of was because doing like he kind of he's he he he's he hears what you say and knows and doesn't understand any subtext. And just does the sadistic thing. Like, he's just, he's even more sociopathic than, like, Walt and everything. Void of all humanity. All humanity. Um, He's good. 
He's, he's really good. Imagine, what if she saw that and she's like, that guy's so fucking hot. <laughs> <laughs> the way he can just, like, kill someone without even, like, She's like, you know, blinking. I got a kid on a bike in my neighborhood who's giving me some shit. Yeah. <laughs> I should get this, this Jesse Plemons over lock here. Lock this guy down. I also think that's a great name, Jesse Plemons. Kirsten Dunst is also a great name. I don't know any other Dunsts. Dunst just just in. the one that checked in. Yeah, <laughs> Please, Dunst, Dunst, check in. There's that's Kirsten the name Dunst. of their. <laughs> that's their. That's their. Uh, um, honeymoon. Can Dunst, you... <laughs> check in. <laughs> uh, is that Cara Plemon? Uh, okay, now I'm derailed. The power of the dog. Uh, is there? Any, what, what do you want to? Oh, uh, proceed or what? Or what casting? I call? Uh, uh, no. What is? What do you want to let us know that you know about it going in? I know absolutely nothing except for the fact that I remember vaguely when it came out that people were like, wait, is this a, wait, is this a thing where a cowboy's not, like, wait, that's all I remember. Like a not tough cowboy? How many yeah, people said, right? how, how, yeah. is that, and a lot of people said exactly that about it? Yeah, it was, it was. <laughs> I think there was some kind of ambiguous like sexuality to it or something. Sure, I don't it. remember. A bisexual cowboy or something mm -hmm. along those lines. Yeah, you nailed it. Okay. And generally those movies do really well and then don't win Best Picture. What are we going to do uh, about One this? other one I'm basing it yeah, off of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a problem plaguing America. Had this lost to Green we Book, we would, have had, we would have had a pattern on our hands. Yeah. <laughs> um, didn't that movie lose to Crash? Didn't Brokeback lose to Crash? I, that line, I think that lines up. Um, and that would... Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, all right. So cast it up. You know a little. You know a little bit about the tone and the general, like almost okay. like the word of mouth log line. That's how you describe it. Yeah, I think there's there's really it's a it's a pretty small tight cast. I think there's a uh, the narrator. Or, you know the narrator. There's going to be uh, crispy, um, which is the Benedict Cumberbatch character. Uh, how about you be crispy? Crispy. Um, hey, keep it crispy. Cotton will be. I came up with that. And Cotton is Kirsten Dunst. I'll be Cotton. Do you want to do the narration? No. Or, that's okay. you. I'll do that. Great. <laughs> you be Cotton then. Because if, if, I, if I do the narration, if I'm cutting a clip together, it looks like I wrote it. Okay, got it. So you be you be Cotton, I'll which be cotton is Kirsten Dunst. Based on the and grandfather I'll be, from King of the Hill. I'll be anybody else who is. The rest of them. I'll be the rest of them plus the narration. Feels good. Um, okay, so this is uh, the just start then. Whenever you want, you so can give us a lead in if you want. This is the power of the dog. Never um, seen by. Ryan never Singer. seen by me, Ryan Singer. Fade in. Exterior dirt road in the middle of downtown day, crispy, <laughs> late thirties, and the rough and tumble cowboy type with great facial symmetry and the wit of an edgy Socrates. <laughs> Spits tobacco juice. It clumps in the dirt, and we see fire ants scurry to the, toward the new food source. His fingers twirl just above two unholstered pistols. I knew bringing her into our bed was a mistake. Don't you dare blame her. I guess it's true what they say. Cotton, mid to late thirties, the ghosts of a prim and proper lady type who went full Ronin, spits tobacco <laughs> juice. It clumps in the dirt, and we see beetles scurry toward the new food beetles? source. Beetles? <laughs> Suddenly, a dog's mouth <laughs> gobbles up the beetles in one quick swipe. It's the power of the dog. <laughs> flashback, 14 minutes earlier. For <laughs> a 14-minute flashback? <laughs> interior, interior brothel bedroom day. Crispy is pulling up his pants and grabbing a wad of money off the nightstand. A woman and her husband are laying in bed smoking hand-rolled cigarettes. You never disappoint, Crispy. It's a neat trick you got there, fella. <laughs> Might could teach it to me sometime. <laughs> no need to teach a man to fish when I can keep him fed one day at a time. <laughs> okay, Crispy well, tips uh, his hat. Tips hat? Obliged. <laughs> <laughs> Interior saloon day. Cotton is lining up shots of brown liquor. She is going on. She is going one at a time and naming each shot before she shoots them down. You're Daisy because you smell nice, and you're sugar because you make the medicine go down. 
And your medicine, because you're just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> the bartender, gruff and grizzly, has pork chops stapled to his face where <laughs> mutton chops usually belong. Skinny streams of blood trickle down and drip to the bar. He quickly uses a rag to wipe each new drop. What did I say about disrupting me, Phil? Phil, the bartender, jumps back at her words, trembling. Yes, ma'am. That's right, ma'am. No interruptions, ma'am. Peace and quietings for the ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, um, I, I draw a pistol. What's that, Reginald? Why, I do agree. I do. I'm like talking to the pistol here. Is that right? Like, like, <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, uh, wh- I think. Wh- wh- what's that, uh, Reginald? Why, well, I-, I agree, I do. Oh. oh, of course not. I'd never let that slide. Cotton grabs a shot with her free hand and she shoots it down and she shoots Phil in the forehead. I told you it's a service animal and it helps keep me calm. <laughs> Exterior bank day. Crispy walking into the bank, he hears a gunshot from the saloon next door. He pauses. What you done now, Cotton? <laughs> Exterior, outside saloon, day. Cotton walks out with a large dog. She kneels down and drinks the whiskey in a shot glass. She opens her mouth, and the dog comes and laps up some of the whiskey that is pooled in her mouth. She laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> People scurry by and avoid eye contact. <laughs> Interior bank day. Crispy hands bank teller the money. Other bank employees are boarding up the windows of the bank and guiding other patrons to get on the ground and hide. I'd like to open a savings with that. Would this be a joint account, sir? <laughs> what about all this makes you think there will be anyone else to put to put on this account? Yes, sir. Of course, sir. Right away, sir. In your name, then? God Damn it, you know who my wife is and you know what she does. So whose name do you think I should be in, sir? Uh, her name, sir? Crispy slams his fists on the countertop. <laughs> I turned to the back of this page and said, obliged again. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we are in a bank, are we not? It's about time you made some goddamn sense. Exterior, dirt road in the middle of downtown day. Cotton walks into the middle of the road. It is the showdown from earlier, but that's obvious. It's been about 14 minutes. <laughs> Close I, love, to. I love a script that's like, but that's obvious. <laughs> you guys hey, fucking figure hey, that reader, out if you're your reading Get your head it's, out of your ass. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a callback, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> she looks over to her dog and holds up her hand, indicating stay. Crispy walks out of the bank. He's smiling, but his eyes tell us he's sad. You know how good actors are. <laughs> You're on time. For once, I see. You're still mad at me for being late to the wedding. It's cute. I'm not mad. I guess I just find it ironical that you couldn't find yourself on time to start your vows, but now that you're here to complete them. <laughs> the whole death do we part thing, I get it. I look at the dog. Does she need to be here for this? I sure as hell wasn't going to leave her at home or let her be with you while you were busy being the meat and unicorn sandwich. Crispy and Cotton stare at each other. They both grab chewing tobacco from their pockets and put clumps in their cheeks. I knew bringing her into our bed was a mistake. Don't you dare blame her. Crispy and Cotton spit chaw juice on the ground. We see the scene from earlier. Cotton shoes the dog away from her. I guess it's true what they say. It's a power to dog. They both draw their pistols and fire. The smoke clears and we see Crispy on the ground, gurgling blood, clutching his gut. Cotton stands emotionless. She walks over to him and kneels down, grasps his hands. She looks in her she looks in her hand and or in his hand and sees that he didn't draw his gun, but he had pulled out of his pocket a bank account card with her name on it. My sweet, sweet crisp. You dog, you. The dog walks up and starts licking his blood. Crispy laughs. Good dog. <laughs> <laughs> the power of the dog. Fantastic. 
the power of the dog. Is this a title of a movie I feel like has like an 80s? I'm only picturing the power glove from Nintendo. That's but, yeah. Um, I think it's probably pretty close. I like the somber tone. I tried to like actually pull at the uh, listener's heartstrings a little bit. Yeah, sure. But it's and it's also visually upsetting. Like there's <laughs> bugs and spit and blood and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah like really, of, like just a raw, raw western, a raw dog, um, a raw dog. Uh, this is Sirius XM Power of the Dog. <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, I, I honestly have no idea why it's called pow- the power of the dog, but I just imagine there a dog was heavily involved in the plot in some way. It feels like there's got to be. Well, right? let's uh, yeah. let's take a quick break. We'll be right back. We'll look at some power of the dog deeds. Yeah, like I saw the pelican brief, and I was like, there's no, I, like I didn't know anything about it. I'm like, there's no way this is about a pelican brief, <laughs> and it's literally about a pelican brief. <laughs> <laughs> There's just no way this is so on the nose. Uh, the Power of the Dog, charismatic rancher Phil Burbank. Okay. Yo, oh. is that Tony Glendale? Yeah. Um, inspires fear and awe on those around him. His brother brings home a new wife and her son. Phil torments them until he finds himself exposed to the possibility of love. I am sure that it's good. It feels like one of those like masculinity as a prison yeah. type of movies, which I agree with. Um, and with the prison system in America, it's hard to get out of. <laughs> Free Andrew Tate. Uh, he's out, right? Don't. I don't know. I don't want to know. Uh, he's the kind of guy I feel like who would watch a movie like this and get it wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, I don't want to know anything about him. And this Benedict Cumberbatch, to me, who is one of our great actors. Agreed. I don't yeah. know if I could buy him being a rancher. I, I didn't see this. Yeah. I mean, he's I, good. Are any ran- do any ranchers have triangle heads? Head rancher heads come in all, all types and sizes. Okay, okay. <laughs> but to be fair, I never would have put him into like superhero badass role either. Nah, I got triangle heads as yeah. Doctor Strange. Though I never would have been like, oh, Benedict, he can play a you know a badass superhero. Sure. I mean, after watching, you know, Sherlock on the BBC, yeah, I was like, this guy can do anything. Because he was so yeah. incredible as yeah. Sherlock Holmes, but I never would have put him as a Marvel superhero. Yeah, he does do a good job as Doctor Strange. I guess he's good in everything. The only time I ever disliked this is a, okay. Spoiler: I'm not going to tell you what movie it's, uh, he shows up in, but the spoilers for 1917 incoming. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you guys seen 1917? I, no. I did. He shows up at the end in the weirdest cameo. It feels and it's to the point where like jarring. it feels like you jump forward to 2020. Yeah, because he shows up. Because the movie is full of people you kind of maybe, but don't really. You're kind of like, oh, but but it's easy to. It's good to immerse yourself in a film like this, which is the point created of the to immerse yeah. you in one person's journey. And then at the end, it's like your dad is in it <laughs> or something. They show up in a bunker and he's done. And there's there's actually Benedict Cumberbatch, obviously not playing himself, but you're like, I fucking know you. Yeah. Wait, who? What is this movie? 1917. 1917, Sam Mendes, right? Isn't that who made it? Yeah. When did this um, movie come out? I'd, a few years ago. Three maybe years ago. three Oscars is ago. Uh, it, uh, it's a war movie. I think it's great. It's sort of yeah. made to be like you follow one soldier and it's kind of one shot type of thing the whole oh, time. Okay. Like a conceptual sort of production to it as well. And I thought it was great. I had some. I think if it's ever shown back in theaters, go see it. It's like a very theater, That's interesting. Theater yeah, movie. and then he just shows up at the end, and then Bennett Cumberbatch yeah. is like the general or something, like way too deep from the, the insurance movie. company. Yeah, the the plot is like about following a soldier on this like very immersive yeah. journey. Yeah, and then he like gets to a destination. It's like, hey, it's me, Benedict Cumberbatch. And he's like, how's he, it going? And even oh, the way he like turns around, you know, they did it as a reveal, reveal and almost. It's a little frustrating, and you're like, ah. Oh. Yeah. But I do jarring. love Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah. I love Sherlock. I thought that was the ending, and that was one of the weirdest swings anything has ever taken in its life. Shoot, I don't even remember. Uh, well, I don't want to. Th- it's a, such a weird, you know. Sherlock, I thought was fun. As far as Sherlock felt like the Mandalorian to me, they're kind of all the same, like all the episodes. But I'm here for it. Yeah, I like, I like the, it, yeah. the Mandalorian's. Like, I got to get over here. Well, if you want to get over here, you're gonna have to get me this. Like, yeah. wow, 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 wow. You know what I mean? Every and I love it. <laughs> That and was... every time in Sherlock, it's like, where's that guy? Well, if you want to find that guy, you're going to need to talk to him. Yeah. What is he, a bunch of numbers? We stopped doing yeah. the mo- <laughs> show like that. Like, I feel like, but there's more, like, what was it? The one with um, uh, Natasha Leone is the, is the... Poker the, face. Yeah. That's another, they've like, oh, they brought back the kind of, like, 
each week. It's sort I of like a, a linearly case. serialized procedural. Yeah. It is a little bit like what SVU does, where every episode stands alone, but kind of some of the stuff moves through all the stories. Yeah. Um, more than like something like The Simpsons, where it resets a million times. Now, Poker then. Face did the thing, which I did in this script, which I hate. End? <laughs> Well, it's like, well, it, well, did Poker Face do it? I'm trying to remember Poker Face now. did the it's thing like I myself did the, and hate. The first episode starts right at the end. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. And then it's the whole season. Like yes. Ozark, the last season, did it. Like the whole thing's a flashback. And I'm just like, I already know what happened. Yeah, sure. Like, this is so But that's, uh, there's something to be said about the, like, tension versus surprise. And Hitchcock was an example. I saw Quentin Tarantino talking, if you can imagine, and <laughs> this guy going on about something in movies. I saw Tarantino talking about tension versus surprise and how it's what Hitchcock was the best at. And he said, if you show two people talking and the building blows up, you're surprised. If you show two people talking and then the camera moves under the floor and you see a bomb and then you go back to those two people talking, it's tension. Yeah, yeah. And what he did, and what I think his, is his greatest thing, which is that opening scene to Inglorious Bastards, where you see uh, um, Christoph Waltz talking to that farmer, and then you see this family underneath the They're floorboards, hiding in the, and it yeah. changes the whole thing. And so that's what these shows, I think, like to do, is like there's a tension to knowing how something ends, and then having you go through the entire yeah. story. Because it's, it's just sort like, of a, how did we get a surprise that? is sort of just like a guy gets shot. Yes. Well, they, and, but also like the, the, the poker face thing, it feels like you think that that show is going to be like a solving a mystery. Like, you know what I mean? It's like a kind of a detective y thing. And, uh, but they, it's like a cheat to work around actually like having, having written a good mystery because you show the ending. But then it becomes about like, how did they figure it out? I don't know. Structure sort of like, I can't believe show. this person would figure this yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a weird structured show. I have, I like uh, I'm film. only, I saw about half of the pilot and I, I was going to finish it and then I just started rewatching and I'm on season six of The Sopranos. Yeah, that's um, great. That, that's also a fantastic <laughs> TV show. <laughs> uh, well, hey, we got a few games we're going to play here on the podcast. One of these uh, is a brand new game that we're going to get to. I don't even have a, uh, a song for it. It's nope. This is a song. This game is called Duck Duck Go Ood Luck Guessing These References Duck Duck Go Makes. Um, Duck Duck Go, if you if you are not familiar with it, it's like Bing. Um, I, can we say it again? I, I can't because I didn't even write it down. <laughs> Duck Duck Go Ood Luck Guessing What It Predicts You Will Say. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Some will say the title's in progress. Yeah. So uh, you guys are familiar with Duck Duck Go? I, oh, yeah. I used to play a game similar to this with a website called Google, but it didn't. I thought DuckDuckGo sounded funnier. Yeah, it is. And Google is too predictive. It always has the same. How the here's how the game works. I go to DuckDuckGo, which is a website. It sounds like I'm promoting it. Um, I, it's I a use search Duck, engine. Duck, Go, it's a search way. engine. Yeah, and I value privacy. You know how search engines predict what you're going to type in. So if you type in Kyle Ayers C, it'll probably be like comedian and think you know it predicts that like what you want yeah. while you're typing. And if you type in, like, Los Angeles space D, it would be, like, Dodgers, driving, you know, blah, 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 blah. It fills stuff in. I typed something in. You have to guess what it predicted. Duck, duck, go. Duck, duck, go predicted. You'll go back and forth. Each one, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in here. I'm guessing the duck, duck, go is worse. It's just, <laughs> predicting. I, what I think is duck, duck, go is less repetitive. Google is always age, height. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Net, uh, net worth. Is net the big worth, one. sibling, yeah. Yeah. Uh, alive. Like the same things for everybody. Yeah, yeah. So few people use DuckDuckGo. I could have influenced the answers by Googling something four times. Yeah. Um, but I just called it Googling. I yes. Googled this thing on DuckDuckGo by duck, duck, by, by quacking. By, yeah, you, that's, that's, that's their... <laughs> so yeah, I quacked something into DuckDuckGo. I'll tell you what it is. You have to... You basically will take turns guessing. Three strikes and you're out. Mm-hmm. If you guess something that's not on here. But it's different points. The further down it is, the more points it's worth. Does that make sense? I'll tell you how many points. Okay, here, here we go. go. I typed in Tom Cruise and then the letter S. Who goes first or does it? Uh, Joe will go first because he wasn't so rude to ask about it. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tom, Tom Cruise S, the letter S. Um, and so then you have to predict what it said. So it could be like Tom Cruise Sactor would be, I mean, that's not like a, like a s- Siblings. That's yeah. not one of them, but something like that. But Scientology seems like you, the, you, Yeah. You yeah, want to yeah, go with I'm that? i go with that. All right. That is one point that is correct. That was, All right. that is, yeah, that's a good guess. Thank you. I, <laughs> after I know it's right. Scientology That's a ending in a guess. Y. Scientology. That is correct. That's one point. All right, Ryan. Tom Cruise S. Oh, oh, oh. Um, oh, I'm not going to do a variation of the word. Scientologist. It could be. I don't know um, why not. Is that what you want to do? Um, or are you not going to do that? I'm trying to think of any of his. Um, God. I will tell you this. None of them are movies. Yeah, that's oh okay. Interesting. Um, Tom Cruise sex. No, safe search is on. Moderate. Oh um, no, I don't think they show stuff like that in the searches. <laughs> All right, that's one. That's one strike for Ryan. Joe. Okay, still we're just it's all S's. This all is S's. All size. No. Ryan. Tom Cruise sequel. No. Joe. Mm, short. No. That should have been one of this them. This game is harder than I thought it would be. Tom Cruise. S- s- Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Um. Oh, shit. Uh, Tom Cruise shit. <laughs> <laughs> Tom Cruise Image shit. search. Shit, shit sex? <laughs> um, it's just eyes wide shit. <laughs> well, I, wow, this is really... this. And I'm stumped. It's... I, uh, I'm going to just say Scientologist. That is on there, and that is one, two, Ooh. three, four, five, six, seven points. Wow. I get one for Scientology. Yeah, Scientology one. was the most obvious. Seven and then percent. six other things in between them, and Scientologist is seven. <laughs> yeah. Well, good guess. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, he really uh, audited your guess there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Any Z new guesses for you? Uh, yeah. There's no more Scientology stuff. Can I ask a question about sure. that? Are any of them um, uh, typos, misspellings? No. Okay. Oof. Were you going to say Scientology? Scientology. Scientology. Um, yeah, it's just, uh, 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 Shelly Miscavige. No. <laughs> it says it's not on there. <laughs> we'll get some detectives out that there. use DuckDuckGo. <laughs> <laughs> you know they have a, uh, they, you know they've opened a private browser. Yeah. So they're incognito. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is incorrect. That's three strikes. Ryan? Shit, I'm out, huh? Uh, okay, so let's say Tom Cruise says... You know what? What I'll do here is if Ryan gets one, then Joe, you're out. If he doesn't, you're both back in. Oh, so you know what I mean? You kind of got to like end on a, both someone getting one to close the got door. Got it. Got tiebreaker kind of thing. This is probably one of those things where people are listening and it's such an obvious. I don't uh, know yeah. this, was, this was one of the easiest ones. Like It's hard to come up with this, but I, this had a few things I thought people would guess. Um, Tom Cruise. There's like five of these I thought were pretty guessable. And two of them I think are impossible. Okay. Okay. Oh, Tom Cruise separated. No. All right. We're both back in. (laughs) Oh, boy. So now if Joe gets one and Ryan doesn't, it's over. Oh. Or et cetera. But I I went first, so Ryan should have another shot, right? Yeah, he would get another shot. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Now We're now in, like, baseball extra innings rule. Okay, yeah. So you got to get one now. Yeah, this is is do or die. Um, Tom Cruise. It's not socks. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, Nope. It is not. Yeah. That, I, I'll just, give you that one for free. <laughs> it, why, why would someone say yeah. socks? I guess it, well, um, it's just, uh, streaming. No. Ryan, to close it out. Tom Cruise, significant other. I'm really close. No. Technically, no. Technically, you're not technically, close. Technically, no. But it, li- in a literal sense, no. All right, Joe. But, uh, oh, oh. I mean, is it just the word? Is it? Can it be a phrase, or is it a? There's some that are phrases. Okay. Tom Cruise. Uh, sig- I mean, significant. Well, you uh, made it. You made guy. a phrase into not a f- guy. <laughs> <laughs> he says significant guy. That is incorrect, Ryan. <laughs> to close it out. Oh. You acted like you knew it. Now I you did. Well, now I'm, I'm torn between two. I'm going to be honest. I'm torn between spouse or sexual preference. Okay. 
because or sexuality because you yeah. know how people sure, love sure, sure, talking sure. about that. So I'm going to say spouse. Spouse is correct. Ryan takes down four points. Nice. This Here are the ones we didn't get: Tom Cruise smile, okay. Tom Cruise stunts. Yeah, that's the Tom whoa. Cruise son. And then there's Scientology, Scientologist. And here's the two I didn't think anyone get. Tom Cruise says he has no fear. That's too much. That's, that's third. That's too much. And that's Tom, Tom Cruise, Shakira. Now why? Wait. I who, don't know. Wait. Are no. they, they, they no. were never no. together. Please don't ruin. Thanks for showing the proof. Oh, my God. No, oh, yeah, that's I, my DDSS, uh, my duck, duck, go screenshot. Yeah. I think too highly of Shakira to think that they could be coupled in a, uh, a duck, duck, go Well, I think search. a lot of people think that. That's why it's getting searched. That's why it's such a hot topic. Imagine they get together, <laughs> and she has to explain to Tom Cruise what the Super Bowl is. Hey, he's, <laughs> like, to get, like, hey. I performed at the Super Bowl. He's like, the what what And she's like, you don't even know what a bowl is? <laughs> think of a bowl. <laughs> think of a bowl. Just by you saying that, it is now probably the number eight search. That's term true. On uh, Tom Cruise, Super not even Bowl. on Tom Cruise, just overall on DuckDuckGo. Uh, all right, everybody. Hey, we're gonna be we're gonna take another break, and we'll be right back. All right, that one was like it's like Family Feud. That's kind of a, a fun game, bit. I think. Yeah, right? I like that game. Like you're you're wondering what ever, other people are wondering. Um, it was hard to get to Tom Cruise. Like I, I really looked for a few things, and I tried to find one at least. I thought that one. There's a lot of answers that you're like, oh yeah, you know. What I mean? It kind of felt he doesn't have a son, does he? I don't know. I didn't. That's like the ninth search. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, <laughs> it feels like he doesn't, but I don't. No, know. I know everything about him. Yeah, I was, just, <laughs> I was just playing it down. I didn't want to come off as uh, creepy. Well, we're getting into another game here. <laughs> this game, a stalwart. Does that mean on it a lot, or like a big part of? This is before and afters. Get ready to play before and afters. How this game works is two movies have been smushed together into one. I'll read you the smushed together plot. You have to tell me the smushed together title. Like before and afters on Jeopardy, a lot of them are portmentos, uh, Argo, Saving Private Silverman, Wolf of Wally Street. We know these examples. You guys have both played before. Mm -hmm. Uh, I like this with the paper. Isn't this better than the computer? Feels good, doesn't it? Doesn't this feel nice to have the paper printed out? And just, I I printed out just 800 extra copies just to get rid of all that paper I had lying around. Just to throw it away. I hate having blank paper. (laughs) I know, I got this blank paper. It could be art. Um, Wash it down the toilet. Here we go. Feel free to work together. The score is currently 11 to 1. Winner gets to promote uh, projects at the end. Oh, loser also gets to. Everyone oh. gets to. Oh, this is a, this is a good deal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here we go. Oh, I want to give a shout out. So, so I have people on the Never Seen It Discord come up with titles. So they'll send me some titles and I'll write up the plots. Uh, Discord, just a big message board for fans of the podcast, people who like it. There's also a robot on there you can play before and afters against. So if you like playing, if you want to play before and afters, or talk about the podcast, or really anything with people who listen to never seen it, go to fart.kyleairs.com. I'm about to just get a different URL because I'm tired of saying it, or an additional one. But that'll that'll <laughs> redirect that. you to Discord. I know Discord's like an intimidating internet word. Yeah, because it's like a Reddit. I don't touch right, it. right. It's like a Reddit, um, but it's really easy. You just you, it'll send you a link. You make your account, and then you just hang out on a message board and talk to other people and. They'll help you out. I'm 46, and I use Discord every day. Right. All right. I can. Discord, it's not too late for me. Discord. Yeah. It's just the on internet. <laughs> uh, you know that you know how Discord's intimidatingly new. Here's a reference you might get: the song "This Kiss." <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> here we go. Number one. You have to tell me the smushed together title. A Spartan king leads his badly outnumbered troops on a journey to find out why his girlfriend. Named after a season, dumped him suddenly. Oh. I, you know, obviously it's, it's 300. Yeah, but then w- read something. What's the second part again? What's Spartan again? King leads his badly outnumbered troops on a journey to find out why his girlfriend, named after a season, dumped him suddenly. Named after a season. Uh, it, oh, it, God, I'm trying to like... It, the, it's not Eternal Sunshine, if the spotless mind. 300. Yeah, it's like 300. No, yeah, there's yeah. there's no there's way. There's no way. But And also, that would have like a more... That would have a more... A more detailed, like... Yeah. yeah. But Existentialish like, plot. And it, okay, about a se- named after a season, that means we got uh, what spring, summer, winter, and fall. autumn. Fall. Oh, autumn. Autumn. 
It's got to be autumn. Like that seems to be. Who's is? I, I feel red, like red autumn. Hunt three hundred red. Uh, red the hunt for red autumn. <laughs> red October. Is a, <laughs> You're changing the title <laughs> of a different movie to yeah. make it still not fit. Yeah. Three hundred. <laughs> three hundred judge dread yeah, autumn. Dread. Uh, um, Kirsten Dunstan Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of like uh, the movies with the the character where she's autumn or, or even spring or, or, or even summer. Spring. <laughs> it's summer <laughs> or even or perhaps. I'll spring. give this per to her. Fall <laughs> per chance uh, <laughs> on the off chance thou is spring. <laughs> Thusly I say. <laughs> I spake unto thee. <laughs> it's declared. There's a bounce in your feet, thou hast spring. A spring in your step. Uh, 300. That's the first one. Are we ready? Or do you want the answer? Oh, I thought you were, this yeah. week, no. <laughs> Okay. We are looking for 300 days of summer. Oh, yeah, of course we are. Yeah. 300 days, days of summer. Of summer. Oh, sh- 500 days of summer. I didn't think it was going to be all of 100. Summer. That's a... Yep, that's, right? that's where they get you. Well, that's, that was the easy one. You're the they. That's, <laughs> no, no, that's where you got No, no, the. I didn't give a shout out to who wrote these titles. Okay. On the Discord, uh, we have Brand, Cheez-Its Christ, Aaron, and Moist. Uh, okay. Which that, I believe wait. are the pseudonyms. That's so that was like gang written. You believe? No, no, they wrote all. Or they, they came up okay. with some, some uh, of these I wrote and some of these titles. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> please, Moist is my father's name. Believe it um, to be a pseudonym. <laughs> Moist. Um, Moist the third. <laughs> <laughs> Could be Autumn. Some people Moist? really hate that word. Autumn. I mean, yeah, either either one. It's like um, get over it, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Truly. So they wrote some of the titles. I wrote some of the titles. We all wrote, and then I wrote all these plots. Number two. Two siblings who run a horse ranch in California come across cash at an at the aftermath of an alien hovering over a drug deal, and they are hunted down by a merciless killer. Nope, country for old men. Nope, country for old men. It is. Oh my god, that was fast. Nope, country for old men. I had it at two siblings. Was that? <laughs> I had it at two siblings. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I was like, well, I knew the nope part. It, I was like, okay, that's nope. Just out of, I don't know why. And but then you were just like, waiting for con- like something like, that plays it's off. Like, what's gonna fit in here? Yep. Yeah. Wow, I don't know. Is it uh, I, I guess no I'm hundred kind of days of summer? Genius. <laughs> I guess I'm some kind of practical brain. Can you just read the description one more time so I can understand? Two siblings who run a horse ranch in California come across cash at the aftermath of an alien hovering over a drug deal. Okay, I'm just trying to figure out. Oh, alien yeah. hover cash yeah. aftermath. Yeah, okay. What yeah, I did was I combined the plots of two movies, <laughs> um, and then you had to guess the title. Oh wait, okay. Get ready to play. <laughs> Just in general. Get ready to play. Number three, the points go up one per each, so that was a two-pointer. Nice. Okay, so this I'm is a three-pointer here. A young redneck man recounts his time in Nazi Germany as he searched for his missing parents with his imaginary friend, Hitler, on a radio program. Oh, my God. I don't remember. I know the movie, and I don't remember the... A young redneck man recounts his time in Nazi Germany... As Ernest he's... goes to concentration camp. Ernest, <laughs> Ernest goes to Auschwitz. Uh, no. Uh, a, a young redneck man recounts his time in Nazi Germany as he searched for his missing parents. What's that one? What's the first With his imaginary part? friend Hitler on a radio program. I What's think the first people don't always remember the framing device to this movie. It's well, okay. So one of them is it's yeah okay. One of them is Jojo Rabbit. Yeah. So something that has a JoJo, or at least a jo- or a, or a bit, <laughs> Some, oh, something well, like that a, fits in here like, or pisses or me off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so young, young redneck, young redneck man, man recounts his time in Nazi Germany. I'm just going to guess for his Banjo Joe Rabbit. You're thinking partially of a PlayStation video game. Banjo yes. oh. Banjo Joe Rabbit Kazooie. Oh yes. yeah. <laughs> um, as he searched for his missing parents, who's the redneck kid? With his imaginary in friend on a radio program. He's the redneck kid's not in Germany. If, I mean, if you're like, if you're trying to piece together what the, if you're trying to Germany rationalize part, this, you got to slow part. down. <laughs> Wait, it's the the redneck kid is one part of it. Is one part, and then Germany is the other part. Yeah, um, I'm assuming I'm, unless a young like redneck a, man. A young redneck. You guys man. keep saying that's kid. all we're getting about little boy. The first count, because they're like that. that man. Man. What's that man? One. What that? <laughs> oh, oh, wait. What's that? Uh, oh, the idiot who got elected in Ohio. Um, he wrote the oh, book. Oh, um, a the, young uh, redneck. Hillbilly man. Elegy. Yeah. J D. Vance. Hillbilly. J D. Vance. Vance yeah. Refrigeration. Yeah. 
Um, is it, is, yeah, Hillbilly Elijo Joe Rabbit? No, it is not. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I, I, I'm thinking the same thing. Shit. <laughs> All right, are we, is, are we done on this? No, one? no, wait. There's got to be one more hot one. one in the in the chamber here. Okay, we gotta. So, <laughs> it is from now on. You lose points if you guess something worse than what it ends up being. <laughs> a, 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 a young redneck man, not a boy, not Reca- a boy. recounts his time. Not a boy recounts his time in, in Nazi, Nazi Germany as he searched for his missing parents with his imaginary friend Hitler on a radio program. What's this? Okay, redneck missing parents. I don't know what Jojo Rabbit's about other than Hitler. An imaginary Hitler. Great, but good instincts. Does it, does it have parents in it? I don't <laughs> think so. Guys, we it. are looking for Jojo Dirt Rabbit. Yeah, there oh. we go. Oh, Jojo Dirt Rabbit. <laughs> Jojo Dirt Rabbit. That sounds like three kinds of motorcycles. Yeah, the Jojo, Jojo Dirt Rabbit. Dirt rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Next one. Four points. A heist goes wrong and a car chase of Mini Coopers break out, one driven by the famous founder of Apple Computers. The Italian jobs. I mean, the, right? there was zero The Italian downtime. jobs. I'll sort of accepted the Italian Steve Jobs. There was zero downtime. Like, uh, uh, hey, you want a phone in your pocket? Uh, <laughs> there was zero downtime. It was like one long sentence, him describing it and you answering it. That was that. Yeah, everyone was here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Oh, I want to give Ryan my points for that one. You know, I I'll mean, give Ryan half of them. Thank you. Thank it's you. currently twelve to seven. Ryan is still winning. Oh, take it's that, back. that that crazy Scientologist. Yeah, that really, that yeah. really got me. For got five me. points, an extreme sports athlete turned spy is recruited for a secret mission and discovers that a new AI is more sentient and powerful than imagined, all while in close quarters with its creator. Oh, uh, what's the one with the? The hot robot. Extreme sports. <laughs> well, you definitely outed how you feel about the robot before we found out what <laughs> oh, movie is. It, is it Triple What's, X Machina? Triple X Machina oh, is correct. Oh, yes. One, two, three, four for you. Okay, Ryan so gets one for saying hot robot. I was yes. on the right no, path. Well, yeah, saying hot I robot is what right did it path. for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, which one? And you're like, uh, Triple X Wally? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, short circuit. Yeah. <laughs> triple X, ch- Chappy Triple X. What's the movie that made me look at my toaster oven differently? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, yeah. uh, the Jetsons XXX. <laughs> All right. So it is now 13 to 11. Oh, Ryan I'm losing. Winning. Uh, I'm winning still? Yes. Okay. Because you got that point for saying hot robot. Okay. So I just if that would have gone to Joe, it was a tie. Whew. This one is uh, six points. Two low level astronomers go on a media tour to warn mankind of an incoming comet. And on their tour, they return to Neverland. Sexy seeing, telescope. <laughs> see, seeing their friends in, uh, that they abandoned as a child. Oh. I mean, okay, wait, just say that. To, it's to, don't look up to, plus something else. Plus up. Don't look up. <gasps> don't look up, up. No, it isn't. <laughs> you don't both got up. so excited. <laughs> Too lo- I like this when I make them worth more points, I can distribute based on the input. Yeah. Two low-level astronomers go on a media tour to warn mankind of an incoming comet, and on their tour, they return to Neverland, seeing their friends and fairy they abandoned as a child. Oh, um, I mean, I mean, what's I mean the Neverland part? No, so it's it's got to be yeah, like I mean, maybe, what? Maybe it's not. Don't look up. It's it not, has to it be. Has don't to look be. up. Don't look up. Uh, that would be really weird if there's a, a up, second movie Peter. exactly like that. Hey, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Hook. I w- don't, don't hook up. Don't, don't hook up is oh! correct. <laughs> I was so close to getting there. One of the few ones that just makes the title of it's a just, completely yeah. different movie. <laughs> um, I say so. Ryan got don't look up. So that'll be two, four for Joe and two I was for withholding Ryan. the saying that because I didn't want to give clues. It's fifteen to, to fifteen. Set up Ryan. <laughs> Pretty bad about that. It's aren't fifteen I? to I just fifteen. Like, you got more points on that one, Joe. You got. Right, you, got feel, you got seventy five. I kind of just don't have a. I just kind of say. I, I'm, I'm, I, Anything that's in my head. All right, there's two more, and I would call both of these bad. Difficult? Difficult, yes. Oh, okay. A comedian examines the rise and fall of his relationship with a quirky woman in New York City. Taking pl- uh, it, <laughs> A quirky woman in New York City amongst a mysterious quarantine zone of mutating plants and animals. Mm, mutating plants and animals. Uh, the... A comedian examines the rise and fall okay, of his relationship okay. with okay. the King of Comedy City. Not the King of Comedy. Uh, uh, Any Hollation? Any Hollation! Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what's the second one? Annihilation. <laughs> Any Hall and Annihilation? That's oh, a, that's that a, is seven points to one of you. Holy smokes. And you know what? It's Joe. <laughs> 
Anihilation. All right. That's a great one to say. And a bad one to say at the same time. Any Holly. It sounds like, yeah. That title was written by two people. I remember they, they said they referenced, I think it was Cheez It's Christ and Aaron. Way to go, gang. Uh, here we go. Final one. I believe this one was actually written by someone else. I, I might not have, I can't remember exactly who wrote this one. I might not be crediting them, but I credited them when they wrote it when I said, this is the funniest one I've seen in a long time. Here we go. A survivor of a concentration camp. This is how you can tell it's going to be the funniest one in a long time. A survivor of a concentration camp who is forced to make a terrible decision attempts to find a missing man with the help of its former Pokemon partner. A survivor of a concentration camp who is forced to make a terrible decision attempts to find a missing man with the help of their former Pokemon partner. Their former Pokemon partner? Find a missing man with the help of their former Pokemon partner. I've got neither one of these. Well, okay. Is it their so- former Sophie's partner? Choice is a- one of them. And then. Because so- so- uh, now they, they can be in the middle of something. This oh, is yeah. opening it up to a whole oh, yeah. wide world of. Oh, yeah. This is the multiverse. Is it Sophie Mon's choice? It is not, but that's <laughs> fun. Um, I'm trying to think of any kind of. His Pokemon. former partner, a Pokemon. Oh, 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 oh. Detective um, Pika choice. Choice. Sophie's Detective Pika choice. Sophie's Detective Pika <laughs> choice. Oh, it is. God damn it. Oh, we did it. Hey, we did it. Well, that was seven. So that's, I'm going five to Joe and two to Ryan. Okay, I felt like I really encouraged this was teamwork. him with this the... Was, with the right. I was like giving him the you're on a roll signal with yeah, my yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going into... <laughs> like, oh, you got uh, it, you got it. Go, 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 go off. <laughs> um, and I was just like syllables, like... Chew, peek, <laughs> so. <laughs> Ryan's like, you know how many words have got letters in there somewhere? Right. We're going to play a very quick game. Uh, it's a tangent of Build the Perfect Movie, which we remember. Yes. Okay. There it is. I know where all the songs are. Build a Perfect Movie. We're not going to play the full Build a Perfect Movie. We don't have quite, quite have time for that, but instead we're going to play Discrepancy. How this works is I give you a category. You have to pick a movie with the largest Rotten Tomatoes discrepancy between critic and audience. Yes. Ooh, Isn't that gotcha. what they're called, critics and audience? Yeah. So you have to pick the one that either critics liked way more. It doesn't matter which who's higher in the discrepancy. But someone's getting, uh, yeah, there's a huge gap. We need a big gap between how critics and people saw it. And the category I'm going to give you, let's go Disney. Oh. And this can be anything that would be on Disney Plus. So you know what that encover encompasses is Star Wars, so TV Marvel as well. Um, no, 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 just no. movies. Okay. Just movies. Any Disney property. So that's Marvel, Fox, Disney, mm-hmm. Simpsons, Star Wars. Any of them. What is the biggest discrepancy between audience and critic score? And uh, Joe, you're winning, so you pick first. Um, okay, I'm going to. Uh, just did Disney eliminate any movies? Maybe. What do you mean? Fast X. I'm just trying to think what Disney doesn't own. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they don't own the Fast and the Furious. Yeah. They don't own like the a lot of like the horror movie stuff. Right. So so uh, any Disney property. I okay. So I was thinking like it's got to be one of those where the audience review bombs it as being woke mind virus. But then does that eliminate? Any you know what movies? I mean. But then it's like, but then it has to be a good movie too. So I was gonna say Little Mermaid, but that doesn't sound like a good movie. You know what I mean? Like that would be review bombed because it's like I can't believe they changed the Little Mermaid's uh, race. You know. But I don't I'm think the Little Mermaid is out enough to have reviews just yet. I think it comes out this weekend. Okay, I didn't. I didn't even know. Well, it's one of this those. Is, what like, if that's my that's my complaint about the? It's the opposite of hating woke. I'm like the Little Mermaid's not out enough. You know what? It's not out <laughs> yet. I, this gets zero stars. Not I need out. the Little Mer- Mermaid not to be available. more. Wow, the, it's Pride Month starts today, and the Little Mermaid's not out enough. Um, uh, okay, it's it's um they don't own uh, the DC movies, right? Okay, they don't. Uh, but you can just pick they, one they do own. It's uh, this is, we don't gotta list all the stuff you can't choose. They, but they, but it's this is a thing. This is the equivalent of uh, origin of word. It's like yeah, I asked you to yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Can I asked you to go. That? Can I? Can a guy kill some time, please? <laughs> can a guy? Ryan, can you can go first if you got time? one. Uh, I'm gonna say whoever wants to go first. I'm gonna say it's. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna say Miss Marvel. Oh no, that's not a movie, isn't it? Captain I think Marvel. you could do. Yeah. I think Miss Marvel the whole season has a Rotten Tomatoes score. 
It does. If you want to do the whole season, the episodes don't. But you can do the whole season of television. I'll allow that. But no, I think probably people and critics both liked Miss Marvel. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Captain Marvel just because it's like, like you said. I think it's um, people probably. I you don't hear people talk about Miss Mar or Captain Marvel as much as all the other ones. Okay. Yeah. All right, Joe. I'm gonna go with. Uh, this is worth six points, by the way. I'm gonna go with the. Um, is is the second. Star Wars in the new trilogy called The Last Jedi? Yes. I'm going to go with that one. Oh. I'll say this. The amount of points this is worth is the difference between yours and the loser's score. Gotcha. So we'll, we'll tally it up here. The I Last I Jedi. All right. The Last Jedi uh, critic score is a 91. Ooh. Audience score is a 42. Yeah, there we go. So we got what? 49? Nice. Oh, I totally love Captain lost. Marvel 79. 74. Audience score 45. So pretty Ooh, close oh, still. Pretty close that's still. That's pretty a, good. That's what a 34 to 40. So you still, that's a 15 point gain for Joe. I'm just going to write plus 15. I'm not even writing those tallies. Well, out. unfortunately, I was right thinking that, like, you knew exactly where to go. Yes. Wasn't going to yeah. like a female led. Right. Like, they both were essentially female led. Bunch movies. of woke crap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, our last game here, this one's worth 92 points. We we're going to play one more round of Guess What Movie Trailer okay. Kyle's dad's okay. describing having okay. only watched the trailer and never having heard of the movie okay. The Game. Okay. Oh, wow. Guess what movie okay. trailer Kyle's okay. dad is describing okay. having only watched the trailer okay. and never okay. having heard of wow. the movie game. We remember how it goes. What movie trailer is my dad watching here? Okay. He wants to go and she doesn't mind. His friends are saying he should get out. What's happening to her? She is going with them. Cool trees standing on a circle. Everyone saying welcome. Fancy circle. The sun is still out. Is this uh, Midsommar? It is Midsommar. Wow, what a get. Wow. What a get. There's flowers in a circle. It's all... There's, well, a, there's I, a lady. I'm going to say Ryan gets four points there just because he gonna, didn't chime in. He let you guess. And yeah. then that's ten points for you. The winner of today's podcast in a, a tally I'm not going to figure out, Joe McAdam. Thank you, Joe, for winning the podcast today. Wow. Well and done, the winner Joe. of today's podcast, Ryan Singer. Thank you, Ryan, for being it is hundred. It's 100 well, points for you. writing a script. I yeah. forgot to tell you that. That's, that okay. that's really the bulk of the work. It's one of, it, yeah. Writing a script is the catching the snitch of this podcast where you're like, what are the rest of the points for? If I just do this thing, I win. You're set. Uh, so, but thank you both for being here, Ryan. Thank you for having never seen the power of the dog, Joe. Thank you for I don't know if you've seen it. We even I didn't see it. I didn't see the movie either. So great. Well, thank you for that as well. Thank you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Ryan. Let people know where to find you and what, what uh, you, you got can find on. me at Rising on Instagram or RyanSingerComedy dot com. Big summer tour of stand. You're going around. a lot of places, right? You want to name any the of place. them? I'm going to uh, San Francisco, Charlotte. Uh, That's it. <laughs> it's a bit all over the map. Back a ton of places, forth. though. A ton of places. Though. You got some Just back, yeah, one, back and forth. One some, weekend at each, and then yeah. some. It's quickest to drive. Yeah, some bay, then some char. I would say Charlotte and circa that coast area, coast. right? Yeah, all over, and then everything in between. Cincinnati, Key West. That'll be fun. That's right. In That's going to be a blast. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to see. I guess. I guess people. They drink a lot down there, and there's lots of lizard problems. There's too many lizards. You figure it'd be called okay. Key Iguanas. East. Why? Isn't it on the east? It's on, yeah, it is. Okay. It is. <laughs> it's, is it, it's west. Is it on the west part it's of? the west key. The, the westernmost. The yeah, there we go. Well, that's assuming you're the only place in the world. Key east. Okay, so yeah, you're going all over. Ryan's going to be all over for a while. Go find him at Rising, RyanSingerComedy.com. Uh, Joe, let people know. Where you be? I'm the socials uh, at Joe McAdam, and then I uh, do a sketch group called Butt uh, on Twitter at Butt Guys, and Instagram Butt Sketch. We make little cartoons and sketches and stuff. Great, thank you guys so much for listening, uh, and have a good day. I've never seen it.